for most of you in the world right now, you are going into fall, which we don't have a fall where I live. I'm actually going into spring, but we also just don't really have a fall season. It's kind of hottish or warmish year round, if you will. Um, but I love fall. I love living vicariously through Americans, especially at fall time with the pumpkins and the orange tones. I love it. And some of my favorite makeup looks of all time is like fall inspired makeup looks. So I thought I would show you guys today my favorite fall kind of eyeshadow palettes or fall vibe eyeshadow palettes. Maybe it'll give you some inspo or some ideas ideas for palettes that you already have in your collection or you might have your eyes on some of these I wanted to just share all of the fall eyeshadow palette love if you will hopefully that sounds interesting to you now if it does let's go ahead and do the YouTube things go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and let's get into it now, in very exciting news, uh, before we get into the eyeshadow palettes of this video, we actually do have a little bit of a sponsor, which is very, very exciting. So recently, a company called Teddy Blake, which uh, specializes in luxury leather goods, predominantly handbags, reached out to me and asked if I would like to receive one of their handbags and do a little sponsored content on my channel. And I said yes, because the handbag styles on their website, I did all my research and all that kind of stuff. I also saw that Kaki Reviews Beauty follows them on Instagram and I was like, that's a pretty good sign. I love everything she loves. But I really, really liked their handbag styles. And one of the handbag styles I've actually been signing up and searching for for a really long time, but truly genuinely haven't been able to find anywhere. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, absolutely. Let's do this. Now, the company is called Teddy Blank, like I said, and they um, make predominantly handbags. I think I saw some shoes and stuff on their website as well. All made in Italy, all Italian leather, all made by experienced craftsmen, all of that jazz, very luxury. The price tag is, from what I could see, about under a thousand US dollars, depending on uh, like the bag that you picked up. Um, and it seemed like they had sales quite regularly. So I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to get. And I'm not even kidding you, hand on heart promise. You know, we have a system of honesty around here. I was so impressed so impressed with this bag that I got. Like, I feel like I bought a Louis Vuitton bag for real. I'm not even kidding. And my mum, I showed her, like I filmed it all and like sent it to her because she doesn't live near me. And I sent it to her and she's like, do you think you can get them to send you another one? Because that's amazing. Like my mum is like, I am like have to hide this from her whenever she comes to visit because she's like eyeing this bag to take it. So uh, mum friendly, if you're looking for a gift for mums, my mum was just like absolutely obsessed with it. I'm not even kidding. And I am truly obsessed with it as well. So let's go ahead and show you quickly what this bag is. There's timestamps as well, if you're not interested in this. So the brand is Teddy Blake New York, and this is the giant box that this came in. Like when I say I felt like I bought a Louis Vuitton bag, this is what I mean because it just came with this giant, huge box. It feels so luxurious. It's like hefty. It feels like luxe. And then you open it up um, and it has like their little information here, which is just designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. And then you get all of this in here. And it also comes with like this little cloth bag, which I'll show you. So it comes in this huge luxury leather box, which I will obviously keep this box because this is really, really good for like storage and stuff. Also the shipping was like amazing. It came in like three days and from, that's from New York. I'm not even kidding. And then you get this little kind of cloth bag that you can obviously keep your bag in. So again, very in theme with the luxury, luxury vibes. And then I'll put the name of this bag and price and everything on the screen. I can't actually remember off the top of my head what the name was, but I just loved it. I loved it so much. So this is the bag I picked. Is this not amazing? I picked this bag because it reminds me of like an Hermes bag <laughs> because of these little buckles. And then I've always wanted, I've been trying to find a deep green bag like this for a really long time. But like I said, I'm real fussy with my bags. I kind of want like designer bags, but I can't afford a designer bag. So um, when I saw this, I was like, yes, absolutely. And I love this handle. And then it has these little gold like this is how you kind of get in and out of the handbag and then I'll show you inside now it does come with a strap as well which I've just popped inside because I'm not using it at the moment so it comes with a strap that you can like put over your shoulder and it has like little kind of clips that you can clip to it which is really good I, I actually normally use a shoulder strap when I use a bag and then this is the inside of the bag so it's completely empty on the inside so if you want a bag with like compartments and stuff it's probably not for you it does have like one little small kind of ugh, I'm doing a terrible job it does have like one little small compartment in here but like otherwise it's empty which is fine for me I don't actually carry a lot in my handbag it just feels like proper like really good quality it feels sturdy it it feels like it's gonna last me a lifetime it really does so if you're looking for a luxury like designer 
level handbag but without that like five thousand dollar cost then maybe this is the guys for you so i'll link all the details down below for you guys i think if you use my code or use the link i'm not 100 percent sure but i'll put it in brackets down below it's affiliated so just keep that in mind um it's not any more cost to you it's just that i get a little bit of a kickback if you do buy it which thank you if you do use it because that all just goes back into the channel um but other than that i will put all the details down below and thank you so much to teddy blake for sending me this because truly it is my favorite handbag of all time. I love it and I hand on heart, I swear to you guys, promise, I'm not even kidding. It's such a good bag. It's such a good bag. Now let's go ahead and get stuck into talking about these palettes, shall we? Now you know there's gonna be some Pat McGrath in here, so let's get the Pat McGrath done, shall we? Uh, first one, Utopian Dream, which I know looks super bright and colorful, but if you take these purples out of the equation, this is actually very, very, fall inspired this chocolate matte right here these three shades right here really beautiful even the pink so gorgeous and stunning for fall like really you can get that beautiful kind of fall inspo looks look at these can we talk about how stunning they are absolutely gorgeous i think that these will look incredible on the eyes beautiful one and dones or any kind of look perfect right Fall vibes. Count how many times I say fall vibes in this video. No, don't. Don't do that. I know I'm annoying enough, okay? We obviously have to include Midnight Sun because Midnight Sun really is the perfect fall palette. I mean, you have these shades here, you have these shades here, you have the golds. It's really a perfect, perfect little uh, fall palette. Even the purple in here is really friendly to fall, right? Like these three shades here. Gorgeous. Because just because it's fall doesn't mean that you automatically have to go to orange. You can go to other tones. You know, there are other tones in the spectrum other than a pumpkin spice latte. You also have this beautiful chocolatey kind of bronze here. The khaki, everything about this palette screams fall to me. For my cool tone friends that might be sitting here going, oh my god, fall makeup does not have to be warm toned. You are correct. Uh, let's dip into midnight, uh, moonlit seduction, I should say then. Uh, too many M's. Uh, this is the perfect, in my opinion, um, cool tone fall palette. And the reason is actually these three shades right here and this shade right here. I mean, obviously you can go gunmetal, like you can do whatever you like, but if you're looking for something more cool tone, then these are kind of fallish vibes for you, right? Like absolutely beautiful and something a little bit different other than like your normal kind of pumpkin spice colors, which no hate or shade because fall to me is pumpkin spice. Yes, I'm basic. Also, you have this really plum toned matte, which like as a one and done over the lid for any skin tone would look impeccable. Same with this one, really, really beautiful. I just think that you can use a lot of these as one and dones or in conjunction with each other and you'll come up with some really stunning cool tone fall inspired look. Let's talk about what's on my eyes, which is the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. So the review of this collection is already up on my channel. And uh, this palette is full. It is full. Like, it's just full. This is the one palette I would recommend if you're going to pick up a new palette for fall. This is probably the one I would recommend. Um, I'm not even going to swatch these because I've just done a video in depth. But, like, this is fall. These kind of vampy purples. Like, I feel like the look that I'm wearing right now with this palette is very fall vibes. These vampy purples look stunning on any skin tone. A deeper skin tone is like one and done, especially like creme de la creme. Um, this color right here, all of the, every single shade of this in this palette, in my personal opinion, is very, very fall appropriate. I really, really think if you love a fall palette, you'll probably get a lot of use out of this. Sticking down Natasha Denona, I just don't know, can you go past bronze in fall? Can you? Like, this is your pumpkin spice palette of dreams, right? If you are a pumpkin spice gal like me, then you're going to want to go ahead <laughs> and pick yourself up the bronze palette from Natasha Denona. It is perfect, perfect for fall. It was made for fall. Look at all of these colors. Perfect for one and dones, perfect for like complex, more complex or fancy looks. It's gorgeous, like every single tone in here. This is also a really good palette for those of you that are maybe new to makeup or don't really um, feel confident in pairing colors together. 
you can use any like literally any color in this palette with any other color and it will all go it's a very cohesive palette you can just mix and match however you like and you can be rest assured that they're all going to match and go really well together so this is a really good option the last natasha denona palette that i'm going to mention is again for more of your cool tone just straight down the line neutral lovers and it is the bieber palette if you haven't got the bieber palette yet honestly and you've got your eyes on it and you can afford it what are you doing what are you doing? Because I was one of you. This is so good. This is such a good fall palette. Like, incredible. You have cool tones, neutrals, warm tones. Really good shades in here for fall. It's just perfect. Like, look at this shade. That is fall. Same with this one. Same with this one, this one, this one. Like, the, op the options are endless for you with this palette. This is really one of the... You can honestly almost pick up this palette and you really need nothing else. Like it's it's everything you could ever need and want or more in a palette. And the quality is truly exceptional. Truly exceptional. Like I know people always rave about Natasha Denona's formula and she has a really good formula, but it's like next level in Bieber, I think. Let's like offset that with something a little bit more affordable. Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. Doesn't get the love and hype it deserves. It really doesn't. Including from me. <laughs> But if you ask me, this is such a good fall color story. Like, look, look at the bottom row, look at the greens. Maybe not the top row, it's probably a bit bright, but the rest of this is just fall. I think I, I picked this up, I think, for like 20 Australian dollars. So it's very, very affordable. It's actually really good quality as well. I really like the mattes in here, surprisingly. The greens are really, really beautiful as well. Um, I just think this is actually, if you're looking for kind of a more let's call it colorful color story than maybe what you're used to. And you just kind of want it for those one-off occasions where maybe you will go a bit more into those greens or those mustards or those reds. Then I think this is a really good option if you don't want to spend a lot of money. I just think this is a really, really, really good palette. The Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. Self-explanatory, look, look, perfect. Now I need to caveat this with, please don't um, I mean, look, everyone's personal preference. I hate their metallic formula. I think the green in here is kind of okay. This one's too chunky for me. Just find their metallic formula really, really, really dense, but their matte formula is perfect, like perfect. So as long as you go into this with like that expectation, if you have a similar kind of, I guess, opinion of shadows to me, um, then you'll find that it's okay. But the, luckily there's only two metallics in here and they are workable. It's just not my fave formula, but the mattes are perfection. And like this color story is just so perfect for fall. It's not even funny. And it's just a really cool, unique kind of grungy kind of color story as well. I really, really like it. So I do recommend the Gemini palette. Viseart Cashmere. This is such an awesome, awesome, cool tone. Uh, fall palette. Like, look at this. I get so much use out of this palette. It's insane. I wore this on my wedding day, as many of you have heard me say a million times before. I just use this so often on the everyday. It's not going to wow you like, um, like Pat McGrath Labs is. Like, even the swatches. It's just not going to wow you like that is. But that's not what the design of this palette is for. The design of this palette or this brand is really, like, everyday good quality or exceptional quality makeup. Like, the more you use this, the more you will realize just how impeccable their formula is. If you are brand new to eyeshadow, you will be able to use this. It's impeccable. If you want something that's perfect for the everyday, that's not too showy or flashy, again, perfect. If you love this color story, perfect. If you go into this expecting glittery metallics or like wham bam metallics, you're going to be disappointed. Okay, but if you go into this expecting a palette of metallics that are perfect for one and done's, um, Perfect all mixed together, perfect for every occasion and every day where it's not so like, wham, I'm wearing makeup, then you'll love this. I just, I really, really think that Viseart is such an underrated brand, truly. I can't do this video without talking about my new favorite brand. <laughs> I just can't. The Isamea Industrial Palette. I'm struggling to open it. Here we go. This palette. <laughs> If you saw my five looks, one palette using this on my review, but especially my five looks, I love this palette intensely. Like the love that I have for this is intense. It is gorgeous. I mean, obviously this is full, but this is more of a cool, tony, 
grungy fall palette and I think for those of you that are looking for something maybe a little bit different to your average fall palette this is the one for you the level I know some people have not been impressed with this I don't know why but I am blown away by this palette I love it I think it's also the color story and what it inspires me to create as well it just I've created some of my all-time ever favorite looks with this I love it it's amazing, can't recommend it enough. And then I am just gonna recommend two little Tom Ford quads just in case that's your vibe. So this is the Smoky Quartz Cream Quad from Tom Ford, this one right here. And this is the cream formula. I just think this is really nice for one and done's very easy everyday kind of work friendly looks, but you have these more kind of um, chocolatey, almost pumpkin-y, but not kind of tones in here. So perfect to just for very easy one and done's, throw it in the eyes, look really sultry and gorgeous and put together, but it was like the easiest look you've ever used. So I love that one. And then also if you can get your hands on this, cause I'm pretty sure Beautylish still sells this, the Lava Luster Quad, which is one of his new formulas. It's like one of my favorite formulas from him, but you can just see these are, like this is like, having a party in fall. Like they're gorgeous, right? I really love these. Again, actually one of these, I wore this quad on my wedding day as well, used with the Cashmere palette. Very beautiful. And I mean, yeah, they're expensive, right? Like, so only you can decide. I mean, they don't swatch well. You have to use them on your eyes. But um, only you can decide if like a Tom Ford quad is something that you're willing to kind of like fork out for because yes, they're crazy expensive. But if you're a makeup, like a luxury makeup lover and you love Tom Ford, it's so good. And like, these are just scream fall. They just scream fall. Okay, I feel like I powered through that. Hopefully it was just fun. I just wanted to kind of hang out and talk about some eyeshadow palettes with you guys and hopefully give you some inspiration. I feel like a lot of you probably own a lot of these palettes in your collection already as well. So I wanted to kind of inspire you guys to shop your stash and look within your own collection instead of just constantly feeling like we need to buy new makeup, right? There's a lot of new coming out and I'm very excited about it, but I'm also very overwhelmed about it at the same time. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know, what is your number one? number one favorite fall eyeshadow palette. I'm very curious to hear from you guys what that is. If you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. You know I appreciate you so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel out so much. We are like on our way to 7K. I feel like we're on our way to 10K. Like that's, that's insane. And uh, yeah, I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time. Bye.